Let's talk about pulling up from a private drive. We're at a gas station. We're gonna pull out. We have to yield to traffic. I look left. And literally, you have to look through your driver's side window. If I can give you one bit of advice, I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. This is driving with miles. I've been doing driver's ed 21 years. So I do driver's ed tutorials also. So I'm looking left, I look right, and then I turn into the nearest lane. Always turn into the nearest lane. And then I'm accelerate up. As you can tell, uh, the windshield wipers are still covered with snow, but it cleaned my window, so that's good. You want to set your defrost on, you want to get a little heat going, and I'm going to make a lane change to the left. How do you make a lane change to the left? It's mirror, turn signal, look over your shoulder for a blind spot, and then you get into the lane. The blind spot is the area in the front, back, left, and right side of the car where the mirrors don't show a vehicle. I'm gonna make a turn up here. I'm turning on my left turn signal. There's a line broken. This is where you're supposed to merge in. Mirror turn signal blind spot. I'm really easy on the brakes. You have to be real gentle. There are timers that are in the ground and sensors. They sense the weight of a car and then they will go into a cycle. Some lights are 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, a minute and a half, it varies. So I'm just here looking, checking traffic. You can see me looking. You always have to look around. Don't assume people are awake. It's eight in the morning. And so on a Sunday, people are not paying attention. Uh, this is a protected left-hand turn. Uh, red means stop and we're just waiting you can see the light blinking yellow they have their turn uh turning left across me so we're just here waiting uh you will get marked down this car is past the stop line so that will be a deduction i'm behind the stop line so i'm good you can see the crosswalk where pedestrians walk intersections are the most dangerous place because cars are turning left cars are turning right people turn at the last second they make decisions at the last second also you see the do not walk sign over there i'm looking right at it near the cvs sign it is not blinking that is an indication to help you so we just have a green i look left I look right, I'm checking, and I'm going to turn in the nearest lane right by the double yellow. If you turn in the wrong lane, that will be a deduction, so I'm getting up to speed. My speed is nice. The speed limit here is 50. I'm at about 41, 44 miles an hour. That's cruising. If you go over the speed limit on your road test, you possibly could get a warning or they could terminate the test. So you don't want to be in that situation. Control your own destiny. Why would you do that? Be smooth, be gentle. I'm leading by example. I'm just taking my time. You can see me scanning the intersection ahead. I'm being patient. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm being patient. I'm just looking around. You can't see me checking my rear view mirror, but every 12 to 15 seconds, you should be checking your mirror. Speed's good. The car is warmed up now. I'm at a half a tank of gas. Woo, -hoo, that's good. Uh, so I'm gonna make a uh, lane change into the center turn lane to go into uh, Mickey D's up here. So I'm gonna squeeze my brakes. You wanna get in at this left turnaround uh, the last second. So I'm squeezing my brakes, I'm waiting, and then I turn hand over hand into the turn. And then I turn hand over hand out. I'm gonna turn on my right turn signal, angle park, talk to you, and then end this. So here's my angle park spot. I lead by example. I straighten out my wheels. I'm covering my brake. A lot of beginning drivers do not cover the brake. Let's review. We talked about leaving a gas station. That's a private driveway. We have the rules of the right of way. I just wanna say thank you for supporting me. I need you to give this a thumbs up and then subscribe. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I wanna thank you for supporting me and I wanna thank uh, my student Mitch for allowing me to use his GoPro. I'm trying to give you good content. Please give me some ideas that you wanna see with the GoPro. Thank you and I appreciate you very much. Have a great day.